so much, everyone. Again, we are the Yale Whip, who was formed in 1909. We are America's oldest collegiate a cappella group. Most people, they don't know what a whiff and poof is, so can mm -hmm. you tell us what Absolutely. a, what and it's a, a question, whiff and poof is? It's a question we get a lot because it's a bit of a strange name. Uh, the whiff and poof is a, is a mythical animal, and it comes from a Rudyard Kipling poem in the early 1900s. Uh, sorry, excuse me, a, a Rudyard Kipling play. A certain strange enchanted boy They said he traveled very There's a scene in which several hunters are gathered, sort of boasting of previous accomplishments, what they've caught in, in their travels across the world. And one hunter, sort of toward the, toward the climax of the, of the debate, so to speak, uh, proclaims that he has caught and captured a, a whiff and poof. And everyone's sort of unsure of what that means. And he doesn't really know what it means himself, because it's made up. Uh, but we like to think it's a a creature of levity and of happiness, and we sort of bring that spirit with it. Wow! What do you have to do to become a Whiff and Poof? I know you got to sing. So, uh, what else you got to do? All 14 of the Whiff and Poofs are uh, taking a gap year in between their third and fourth year of school. So traditionally, it's the, traditionally it's a, a senior only group, uh -huh. and after three years of study, you can choose to audition, and if you are selected, you buy a set of tails and, and uh, spend your travel. And in the past 10 years, the, the touring schedule has gotten so developed that most students choose to separate their studies from the singing so that they can make the most of it. Love and be loved.